Okay, just a quick video to uh, show you a little bit about this bike here. It's a uh, Mongoose, Mongoose Black Home, and it uh, started out as a mountain bike of my brother's. I got it from him uh, when I noticed that the frame was actually a decent frame for uh, the road. So right now I have a, uh, a motor. That's a uh, BMC V3 hub motor, geared hub motor. Uh, I think it's a V3, is a thousand watt. Uh, we got a little torque arm right here attached to it. Uh, the rack, which houses the battery up, battery pack up on here. Normally these panniers all hang down uh, and the saddlebags hang off the sides and I have this uh, auxiliary battery packs hung on them. But for now I'm just using the 20 amp hour uh, mean battery pack. It's comprised of uh, of um, 12, 12S, that's 12S 8P right there. So it's 44.4 volts. Okay, um, this is actually um, one plug which goes to the Hyperion charger and it's uh, both uh, for charging and balancing. It's, I always charge and balance at the same time. So what else do we have on here? Oh, in order to keep up with the motor, does uh, even though it's only 44.4 volts, it does like about 30 or 31 miles per hour. So I had to switch out the uh, regular uh, mountain bike uh, cranks to this Shimano Tiagra road crank. Let's see here. You didn't say it. There it goes. Shimano Tiagra. Let's see, what else did I do? Oh, the controller. The controller I mounted up under here. Um, <laughs> in, between, in between this little um, fenders here, <laughs> which, I, which I mounted with some, with a couple of metal straps. Incidentally, this is a, uh, this rack right here is rated at 50 pounds. And it was, it's only this part here. I added this part from a Home Depot to uh, give it some stabilization over here on, on the rear triangle. So this thing goes up and down with the suspension. Um, can't really do any off-roading on it because there's a lot of weight back here. Uh, that's just too heavy. I normally use it for my daily commutes to go uh, 70 miles a day. It's uh, 35 miles each way. And it works for me. Um, and it's given me any. It, it's taken a while to get to this point, but it, it does work for me. And it, it works reliably. Uh, what else? Okay, the cyclone list is up here. Again, it was. You know, I don't know if you see that, but it's 44 volts. Normally starts out at 52, 50.2 or 50.3 volts in the morning uh, when it's hot off the charger. Um, I've done some riding, so. It has gone down a bit, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, put on some uh, Schwalbe Big Big Apple tires on here. They're the 3.5 inch wide balloon tires. That makes a lot of difference. And this back wheel actually laced the uh, the BMC V3 hub motor to this back wheel. This is a pretty hefty back wheel too. It's a it's a Mavic 729. Um, rim, which is pretty much what the the downhiller and bombers use. So it's pretty really tough uh, rim there. And then uh, let's see, I also fitted the some larger Avid BB7 uh, disc rotors here. These are eight inch in the back and only six inch up front. I kind of should have reversed it. These bigger ones really belong up in front, but. <laughs> It just turned out this way for me. Okay, let's see. Just a little makeshift stuff inside here. Um, you know, I, I really have this tied up a lot nice, neater, but I've had to change this flat several times and just keeping it like this, this way, makes it easier for me to take, change this if I'm out in the road and it's happened to me like three times already. Okay, well, that's pretty much the bike, the e-bike. Oh, 
This is my Gro just got this GoPro camera and I'm trying different mounts. So there's a mount right here uh, underneath this, the seat on the, the seat tube there. All right, that should be it.